I've arrived at my work spot. I need to go down over the edge to do some work. All right, this is the passing the edge or obstruction at the top and I need to start my work. So what do we have here? We have edge protection. I open it up. First things first, I'm gonna attach my backup device on one of the ropes. I do up, open up my descender and then I pick a bite of rope from over the edge and I'm gonna try to guesstimate where the bite of rope will be in the descender so that when I step over the edge that I'm at the right height, not too low and not too high. So should be, usually it's about this much from over the edge. Take my rope, put it in, and lock off the descender. So now that I'm fully attached to both my lines, I can take off this cow steel so, I, uh, so that I can actually go over the edge. Do some management. If I want to go over controlled, I need to use a, an ascender or you can make like a permanent, like a little step down, rig it up, or you can just use your ascender, hand, handled ascender. Usually you would do that on the main rope, but I know from stepping up and down here often, that if I would do it here, it will all get tangled up. And as I don't have any rope on this side, or hardly any rope, there is not really that much stretch in the system. So in this example, I will put it on my backup line. Now I know that if I'm over the edge and hanging in my descender, and this is tight, that there's still room to move and undo my handle of the sender. You will see it when I show you. Okay, so now I'm ready to step over. I put my foot in the foot loop and I'm ready to step down. So I hold on to the handle to sender, take care that all the ropes land on the edge protection. I'm standing in the ascender or in, or in the foot loop. You can see it over there. This is the moment that it's very easy for me to do my rope management and take care that nothing is tangled. All right, so I sit back down. I take my foot out of the foot loop. Now you see what I mean, because now there is room to move and if I would be here in between, I would get it out, but it would be more of a hassle. This is easy. Take it out, clean it up. I'm gonna close up the flap a little bit, descend a little bit, so I'm able to lock it off completely. And that's it. So this little step over the edge was brought to you by Industrieel Klimme. Industrieel Klimme is a great training center in the north of Holland, right above Amsterdam. And you can come here for any working at height related training. Whether it's GWO or IRATA, or as you've seen in another video, there's a, a cell phone tower over there. Or if right now there's a training for a fire department from a local company. So any kind of training is possible here. There's a beautiful shop next door where you can come and try out all the newest gear that's available. And if you're not able to make it in person, there's a web shop as well. You will find a link down in the description and just contact Industrial Klimme if you have any questions regarding materials and training. So I'm gonna change over into my ascender and then I'll show you the proper steps to go back up. So I've been climbing up 
until the edge of the roof and my coffee is waiting up there. So I want to get, go there. First thing to remember is that every new move, nearly every new move, starts from the descending position. Especially in this, it's very important that you change out of the ascender into the descender. My chest ascender is a tooth device and we want to prevent any possibility of a shock load in a tooth device. So if I would be stepping over the edge and my foot loop would break, I would fall down back into my chest ascender and I might damage the rope, it might break and I would end up in my backup device, which we want to prevent. So what we do, first change back into our descender. and climb up as high as possible. Open up the edge protection. Go up a little more. And this is the moment that I try to get my handle to center with the foot loop as high as possible. And like I showed you when stepping down, I'm gonna put it on the backup rope right now because that gives me the most room. I need to really try to get it on here. I don't feel like it. This is way easier. So I just put it up there. Then I get my foot into the foot loop. And step up a little bit more. So right now it's very fairly easy. I hold on to the handle. I make one big step up and I, when I'm safe, I do my cow tail up. So it's one big step, here we go. One, two. I manage my back up as high as possible, always. Do up a cow tail. And I'm safely secured. I'm using my cow tail as a work restraint, so there's no possibility that I would be falling over the edge. I can clean up my gear. And I leave everything the way I found it. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be notified as soon as I release a new educational video. And if you have any questions or you would like to see different techniques or you are curious about certain types of devices, maybe different descenders, different backups, just leave a comment and I'll make a dedicated video for that. Alright? I'll see you in the next one. Stay connected.